It began as the perfect weekend vacation. Spend a night in a ghost town. What could possibly go wrong? It was great fun until the nightmare began. <laughs> And you can't run, you can't hide, you cannot escape, and you never look back. Because someone or something is waiting for you, watching. And you trust no one. Because no one comes out of this town alive. Is it haunted? Or is it one of their own gone mad? It will bring you right out of your seat. But whatever you do, don't scream. Coming to this theater, rated R. your doors, but you can't lock the madman out of your mind. Tear the life out of you. It's a bad time, this time of year. How many times is he going to tell this story? I love fairy tales. This ain't no fairy tale, little girl. If you don't take it seriously, you're a fool! <laughs> the first Valentine's dance in 20 years has to be something special. Look, Landers, you've got to get a lot of exercise if you're going to grapple with Gretchen. Oh, yeah? Well, I got a valentine for her that she's never gonna forget. <laughs> right to the heart, huh? In this town on Valentine's Day, everybody loses their heart. Roses are red, violets are blue. One is dead, and so are you. Valentine Bluffs. It looks like Harry Warden's back in town. It happened once. It happened twice. 
cancel the dance or it'll happen to twice. In the town of Valentine Plus, there are many ways to die. Take your pick. My bloody Valentine. Something not alive like its father. Something better dead. Something that has the form of a human, but not the face. This better be good. It's gonna be great. Something that feeds off the flesh and blood of young innocents. Come on, here we go. This is it. Something that tonight will turn the funhouse into a carnival of terror. The Fun House, coming soon from Universal Pictures. The Fun House, it's a carnival of terror from Toby Hooper, the director who terrified you with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Jeff, thank God. What, what the hell are you doing? Have you gone totally nuts? Hey, this thing's only a joke. It was left in my cab. What the hell's going on around here? Some creep's been calling me all night. Can I stay at your place? Sure, baby. Oh, thanks, love. Just be a sec, okay? Yeah, yeah.
1970, three children were born during a total eclipse of the sun. Now, ten years later, they share a terrible compulsion to kill, and no one can stop them. If they decide they don't like you, watch out. The children will stop at nothing to get a deadly murder weapon. And anyone can be their victim. No one is safe. Not even their families can escape. Bloody birthday. Children shouldn't play with sharp objects. They hate their babysitter and her little brother. And the teachers at school are so mean. No matter where you run, they'll find you. There's no escape. Bloody birthday, a terrifying journey into the bazaar. Will you get out alive? Friday the 13th, 1981, be any different. Friday the 13th, part two. The body count continues. 14. All doomed. You're all doomed. 15. God. Sixteen. Help! Help! Seventeen. <laughs> Eighteen. Nineteen. There are 200 seniors at Midvale High and seven days till graduation. <laughs> the class of 81 is going out in style and they're having the time of their life. It's been a great year for Midvale High. The track team finished first in the state. Then again, Midvale always produces winners. Sally Prescott is the top gymnast in the school. 
she plans to go to college in the fall. Paula Kastoff won five cross-country events in the past year. She jogs to school every morning. Ralph Johnson is the football team's star halfback. Pete McFarlane set the state record in the pole vault. Tony and Dolores were king and queen of the prom. The class of 81's being fitted for caps and gowns and coffins. There's 200 seniors at Midvale High and seven days till graduation. Too bad there'll be no one to celebrate with. Graduation Day. This summer, if you're planning to go camping, don't. If you're looking forward to midnight swims, don't. Listen, you going back to the campsite? Get some matches. Build us a hot fire. And if you're thinking about being with someone where no one can see you, don't. Because this summer, a legend of terror isn't just a campfire story anymore. They say he smashed his way through the bunk room door, just a mass of flames. I cried out, I will return, I will have my revenge. He lives on whatever he can catch. Right now, he's out there, watching, waiting. Who's there? What happened one summer five years ago is about to happen again, and again, and again. <laughs> Someone's having a party for the top ten. The senior class snobs. Before they get to celebrate, six of them will die in the most bizarre ways you'll ever see. Virginia, don't go away. Come over here, Virginia. It is up to you to determine whether you wish to subject yourself to Fear. Terror. And shock. Because of the bizarre nature of this birthday party, pray you are not invited. State Hospital for the criminally insane last night after killing an attendant and leaving a guard in critical condition. Jones was committed to Hobarth eight years ago after a lengthy and well-publicized trial following the bludgeoning death of both of his parents. We talked with a state police department spokesman shortly after Jones's escape last night. He's extremely dangerous. He's probably armed. He could be on PCP. Jones is Caucasian. <laughs> with curly brown hair. If you see anyone answering this description, stay clear of him. And 
Notify your local law enforcement agency. At Lanier College, they have the finest security, the best teacher-student relations. No fraternity hazing. Strictly enforced curfews. Shh. What was that? And a killer. He's come back. Final exam. When are you going to realize that the whole world isn't made of psychopaths? He's a murderer around campus, killing people. Some may pass the test. Lisa! God help the rest. For some people, a simple warning is never enough. By the time Alma heard it, it was too late. Something's out there in the woods, and it's killing people. Joni never thought it could happen to her. Ingrid and Peter couldn't believe it happened to them. Something's out there, waiting. Something a little bit wild and crazy. For some people, a simple warning is never enough. It's your decision. If you want it chopped off, just take it to the woods. Remember, the call of the wild is the last thing on earth you want to hear. Don't go in the woods. It's coming soon. For some people, a simple warning is never enough.
darkness descends on the city, something happens to the girls who attend night school. You're not walking home alone tonight, are you? After what happened? We'll be all right. Something secret. Modern man has only to take a short step to wind up in the primeval jungle of his ancestors. Something forbidding. Well, we've had a few kooks in Boston in our time, but headhunters are too many. yourself for the most intensely shocking motion picture of our time. <coughs> Nightmare, the motion picture everyone is talking about. Hello, Steve. Friday the 13th, special effects director Tom Savini. Now comes Nightmare. Kathy? Survive the night. Nightmare. Scream, but no one can help you. Listen to me, George. It's only a dream, and dreams can't hurt you. Are you there, George? Daddy! George, don't hang up! Where do you go? When there's no place to hide. Escape 
alive. No one under 17 will be admitted. From 21st Century Distribution, coming soon. Gentleman saved this little girl's life, but they accused him of harming her. Do this ourselves. And he was tragically murdered. Now, one by one, the men of this town are dying. Who is his avenger? Is it the dead man's grief-stricken mother? They killed my boy! The little girl who loved him. I know what you did to brother. Or could it be the Scarecrow? Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, coming up next. Six times! I shot him in the heart! The man is, he's not human! Universal Pictures presents Halloween 2. More of the night he came home. Who is it? There was nothing within him, neither conscience nor reason that wasn't even remotely human. <laughs> Some kind of a joke. I've been trick or treated to death tonight. You don't know what death is. <laughs> Janet, go tell Mr. Garrett we're having trouble with the phones. There is no place to hide. He will always find you. <laughs> What's this? It's a Celtic word. It means the Lord of the Dead.
It was 1945, the night of the graduation dance. The war overseas had just ended. The terror at home Boy. was about to begin. Roy? Come on. Come on, kid. Don't play hard to get. What about New Year's Eve? Well, that was different. I couldn't help myself. Prowler. If he wants you, he'll get you. Tonight, the terror begins again. They never found out who did it. But it had to be someone in town, someone who knew that she was called Rose. And Mark, that guy still might be around here. Oh, man, I don't believe this. You're talking about something that happened over 30 years ago. Whenever the time was right, he'd come back. The Prowler. If he wants you, he'll get you. Catch your breath. It starts all over again. <coughs> you may think you're safe, but you're dead wrong. The Prowler, coming soon. for your life. The nightmare has begun. It will find you in the hour when dream and reality merge. The last desperate moment of darkness. All right, who is it? Just before dawn. They were warned. At least tell me where you're going so that when you don't come back, I'll know how to fill out the report. But they did not understand the warning. They came to the mountain for adventure and escape. What they found was a trial which only the strongest could survive. How could they know? that beneath the awesome beauty of nature lay violence, danger, and death. 
seen all the blood. How could they know? The heat of their bodies was the magnet that would draw the terror to them. No more devils. No more. No more nothing out there. Just got little creatures. You saw them kids? Down by my gosh, see your kid. Okay, good mind to just let them have their due. Just before dawn, they will cry out. Just before dawn, the demon lives. If only they could die in their sleep. <laughs>